Marishwada Isila Masijan Hasdawa Battery Takar Kalapar Laiwasu Udam Ulha Hayash Takar Bal Tasha Ugh. Good morning, all you filthy animals, and welcome back to the land of Oros. I'm here with my ancestors, Dakar, and the Wenja people. And, uh, well, it's another day taking control. Whether it be taking control of ourselves or taking control of, away from the Udon and the Azila and giving it back to the Wenja people. One way or another, that's what we're doing. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. Let's talk to Manu. We haven't talked to him in a little bit. Let's see if he has anything for us. What's up, man? <laughs> Ugh. And this is why you don't go looking for a fight. Because you might just pick a fight that you can't win. Well, let's go rescue the guy, I guess. Or maybe... Well, technically he didn't say whether it was more than one. Did he? I've already forgotten, my goodness. Ugh. Well, before I can rescue anybody... Oh, hey Jet. How you doing, buddy? Well, before I can go rescue anybody... First of all, Jet, it's nice to see you, but go back. Ugh, I need to rest up real quick. Before I can do anything. Ugh. All right. Yeah, here's the thing. Don't go picking a fight unless it's absolutely necessary. Because otherwise you might pick a fight that either A, you can't win, or B, even if you do win, it's not really worth the win. That's kind of what it means, really, about this, isn't it? You don't go off to war unless you think you can win, and even if you do win, is it even worth it? Honestly, these Wenja, well, this Wenja didn't really think it through. I mean, even if it was worth it, it doesn't sound like they went prepared, either. Gonna be for going in for a fight, you need to be prepared for anything, whether it's victory or death, for that matter. <clears throat> You're gonna fight, you need to make sure that it's worth it. Oh, someone left a nice fire there. Maybe that means we're getting close. I'd love to have better equipment to deal with this place myself, honestly, but I'm just doing the best with what I've got right now, but at least I don't rush in like a naked babe. You know? It's all about calculating the risk and whether or not it's actually even worth it. You know? Let's see if we can't help them out. Oh, great. One of them's already dead. 
Ninja. Aish Alia Shanti. Yeah. Well, at least I had enough sense not to come alone. Although that guy looks like he was the least prepared. Okay, so... This way... I'm like, oh. Well, looks like a wolf got one of them. Get out of here. Leon, just take him out. Here. Second of all, bad wolf. Third of all, great, we have an elder mammoth. Fantastic. All right, Leon, just go. You're not going to be able to help with this. In fact, I don't even know if I could. Eesh. I don't even know if I could take this thing on, honestly. Goat Wolf Peaks. Yeah, there's no goats for days around here. All I see is a freaking. Oh, great, it's fire. Oh, and I went just. Hey. Hey, you alright? Where's your friends? Please don't tell me they got killed by the Elder Mammoth. Where are they? Alright, well. I'll do that. All right, well, so it's past the Elder Mammoth. Right. All right, well, just sneak past the Elder Mammoth. Everything should be fine. As long as I don't mess with it, it shouldn't mess with me. Or whatever. Can't necessarily gender a mammoth unless I get too close to it. Um. Um. Oh, great. Great! Just great! What the hell am I supposed to do now? I, mean, I can't necessarily fight this thing, it's gonna kill me. You see how it's just destroying every single one of them? This is why you don't pick a fight. Because honestly, sometimes you're probably not gonna win. Don't pick a fight unless you're certain you can win. Ugh. I mean, at least it's killing the Udom. But it is also killing Wenja, unfortunately. Great. Great. Honestly, what the hell was I supposed to do anyway? I'm not fighting an elder mammoth. The key thing it can kill me with one hit. Just like it did them. And I, I do and the most powerful friend I have right now is Seb, and he's not gonna stand a chance either. None of us would stand a chance. Ugh. There's a couple more over here, I guess. Okay. First off, I need to get warm. How about this? Ugh. It's amazing how cold this place can be. Well, it's getting close to being summer, and this place is still freezing. Well, thing is, <laughs> that, and 
and and that. Ugh. That is what being a beast can do. Make a pretty big difference. that came here and two of them are dead. At least I rescued three. Sort of. Yeah, I'll get to him in a second. I assume you mean this way. Let's try up here real quick. Ugh. I can't spot him. Hold on. Oh no! 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 You're gonna come back, aren't you? Yep. No, you're not. Right on yourself. Just trying to avoid the e bomb if we can. All right. Here you go, buddy. You're all right now. Don't try this again. Ever. Yeah, well, you can thank me by never doing this again. Average people shouldn't try this. Only if you're a beast can you even attempt stuff like this. Hmm. Well. Hmm. All right. Well, here's the thing. Let's head over to this campfire real quick. Should be a nice little spot to rest. Frickin' right. I mean, hey, if you want to rush blindly to your deaths, by all means. Trust me, though, you don't want none of this. Don't want any of this. You keep asking for it. So I have to give it to you. I can't help it that the Udom and the Zealot are just rushing blindly towards their decks. Oh. Well, I guess more Wenge have decided to come here. Maybe they were sent as a rescue party or something. I don't know. Now I have to rescue the rescue party. Ay, ay. Don't get me wrong, I'll help, but... Need extra help first of all. Leon, we'll help here. Me bomb. You want to go there?
Tanky lion, so I guess you can handle it. Here you go, buddy. Alright, good job, buddy. There's more. Okay, start. Alright. How many more? Good lord. You down. Whoa! Nope! You leave. Hang on. Alone! Alone! Alright, here you go, buddy. Alright. Well... We save several more, Wenja. You know, I'm guessing this is probably where they're staging their raids from. But you know what? I'll just go ahead and make sure they can't do that anymore. Let me torch real quick. Let me barricade. And this. Yeah, honestly, they just keep rushing to their deaths. I mean, it's just like Silas said, the Udon will just never stop until all Wenja are dead. So the only other solution is for all Udon to be dead. I mean, they're making this, they're making this that way, honestly. And of course, I imagine the Izila have much the same mentality, only they want it for both the Udom and the Izila. And the Udom probably want the same thing. Warpati. Hey, what's going on? Well, so not only are the Udom hold on a second, first spirit totem. That'll be nice. So apparently not only are the Udom staging their raids from here, they're also using it as a hunting ground to kill mammoths. I don't know what it is, but they have this obsession with killing mammoths and offering mammoth blood up to their stone lady goddess, whatever, who doesn't give a crap about them. See, that's the problem with cults. Their leaders pretend to give a crap about you, but in the end, they don't give a crap. And they basically try and transform you into what they want you to be instead of what you were meant to be. Which... Is probably leagues better than anything else that they could possibly offer you. But you know what? Yeah, some people will just believe anything. You know? Kill a bunch of mammoths and I will give you X, Y, and Z. Great. Okay, freaking stupid. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of them here. Okay, and I'm setting things on fire. Focus, control, situation, control, it. situation, control, situation. We're good. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, Leon, just get out of there. Get out of freaking no fire, fire, freaking ah! Leon, just get out of the fire. Okay, just get out of the fire. 
now we're gonna have to go around. Okay. Yeah, well, that'll work, I guess. Yeah, but here's the thing. Not only, apparently, are they killing mammoths, which I guess is one thing, but they're just making them smash their heads in. It just sounds ugh, overly brutal, to be honest. So, cross this land bridge. You guys are not going to be staging any more raids or killing any more mammoths here. Yeah. So apparently they like to drive the mammoth off the cliff and make it bash its head in. I mean, it's a decent strategy, I guess, but it's almost like they're making a sport out of it. Here's the thing. You don't necessarily hunt for sport. You hunt for food. I mean, I... Well, that's another debate for another time. Luna, I need your help here. Great. Right. Ugh. Come on. I need, to, I need fire. Come on, Luna. Help, let me tear a path so I can get to the fire. Damn, damn it, too late. I'm just gonna have to do it myself. Meantime, I'll start setting this entire camp on fire. That should be plenty of warmth. Be sure they can't stench any more raids here. And that's the real point. For, I mean, the mammoth hunting is one thing. Whether or not they actually take abs absurd pleasure in it, that's another. Good job, Luna. What they are doing is staging raids here, and that's definitely something we can't have. All right. Always take your frustrations out on inanimate objects whenever possible. Before humans. Or anything living for that matter. Even then, shouldn't really be destroying property recklessly either. Great. <laughs> well, found their freaking cave. Staging their raids from. Alright, good job, Luna. Alright, let's flush these guys out. Wait a second. First, I went to some up here. I'll go back in there in a minute. Yeah, there's some out here. Well, that guy. Commence with ah! <laughs> I will commence with burning. Burning this place to the ground. Ugh. Ugh. Well, that was not as great as a throw as I could have had. I guess it worked. It is better to take out your frustration on objects, but even so, try and control your frustration at first. You absolutely have to destroy or hit something. Go for an object first. 
you know? Better to do that. Because objects, you know, better to destroy them than actual destroying human lives, or even lives in general. these guys are there. Oh, great. You. Nope. Hey! Stop it! Damn it. Watch my window. Ah! Get. Oh, what? Whoa, here. Hold on a second. Luna, just get... Luna, get out of the fire! For goodness sake! Get out of here! Beer. All right, that works. Hopefully, that's the last of them. Let's burn the rest of this place to the ground. All right. All right. Well, before we wrap this up. And call it a day. I think we'll go ahead and explore this cave here that they were using to stage their raids. Pretty sure there's none left. But. There might be something of use in here. Plus there's also things to gather. Gather our strength. Observe the cave paintings. Need their lessons well. Burn the vines that are blocking them. Also collect the Daisha hands, which will make us stronger as well. Yeah. I'm assuming that's Krati. Stupid mask. But first of all, all right, so we got that. Now we just need to find the Daisha hand. So yeah, even the Udom apparently know about Krati. That water is cold! Alright, well... Campfire nearby. And fast travel from it and to it. Sounds like a good place to call it for the day. If I can find my way out of here. E there. Ah. This should be a way out, hopefully. Yeah. Ah, there we are. Great. Now we just gotta head to the stupid campfire. And we'll call it a day for the day. Oh, there we're whoa! Gee! Frickin' stupid Alright, well let's just light the stupid campfire, that'll keep them away. Necessarily like fire that much. All right, so hopefully that will keep them away. All right, I'm gonna rest. Ugh. Oh boy. Ugh. All right, well, I think that's enough being in Udom territory for now. And we can come back here later, so that'll be good. Uh, let's see, wow, we have a lot of new techniques we can learn. And that, well, 
Yeah, I think I would much rather be able to take more damage for now. Because animals right now are not necessarily our primary threat. That belongs to the Udam and the Azila. Alright, so let's see. There, there. Can I make it there? Can I make it all the way back to the village? Yes, I can. Although, it's probably going to be just barely. Ugh, yep, just barely. Alright. I think that's it for the day. I'm going to rest. And I'll see all you filthy animals tomorrow. Ugh.